Okay, so we have m to the power of negative 21 over 2, all to the power of 8 sevenths. Okay, so you might recall your power rule. Do you remember what to do with those exponents? If you have, a, if you're taking a power of a power. So what I'm saying is, if you had a to the power of m all to the power of n, what would you, what can you do with the exponents? Do you remember? And this is the power rule. You can actually multiply them. It's a to the power of m times n. Okay. So this guy gives m to the power of negative 21 over 2 times 8 over 7. Okay. So the key here now is to multiply those fractions. Our next step now is to multiply those fractions to calculate the exponent, right? So if you're going 21 over 2 times 8 sevenths, what do you get? Can you cross cancel? Yep, 7 into 7 goes once, 7 into 21 goes 3 times. How about 2 and 8? 2 into 2 goes one time, 2 into 8 goes how many times? Four times. So we have m to the power of, it's a negative. What's three times four? <coughs> three times four? Twelve over one, right? So this whole thing is twelve over one. It's negative twelve over one, isn't it? Or just negative twelve. And how else can we write that? We can write that as one over what? See, when you have a negative exponent, it doesn't mean a negative number. It means a reciprocal. a to the power of negative n is 1 over a to the power of n. So m to the power of negative 12 is 1 over m to the power of 12. Right? 